Helicopter Emergency Medical Services, or HEMS as more usually known, is big business and Airbus have two uh, helicopters on display here. Um, I'm with Ralph Setz from Airbus. What are you showing and uh, what's the differences between the two aircraft? Uh, welcome to Airbus Booth, and uh, we are very happy this year to focus here on the AGMS market. This actually is uh, the strongest position we have in any segment. Around the world we have about 2,500 helicopters operating dedicated to AGMS, and with our Airbus fleet uh, we can cover 60%. So more than 1,500 helicopters saving lives around the world, mostly in Europe and in the US. So many, many countries like Asia, Latin America are not yet developed. So, of course, uh, we are also targeting this new market uh, with the product that we can showcase here. Okay. What do um, operators actually look for in a HEMS helicopter? Yeah, of course, the helicopter is, uh, the HEMS is a challenging environment. Uh, we talk about HEMS, meaning you need to land anywhere for any primary mission. You land to lead on the highway, on the street, in the village. Uh, I was a HEMS pilot myself, huh? so it's a, it's a difficult job. And uh, you have on the other side, you have the air ambulance mission, meaning transport from one hospital to the other. For both, of course, you look for a for multitude of uh, benefits. First one, I would say the performance. You must have a helicopter performing quite well. And especially here in Europe, the helicopters need to operate under performance class one scenario. It does mean in case of an engine failure, they are 100% safe to operate. So you need a very powerful helicopter. You want, of course, to have uh, the capability of the space together with the uh, comfort. So it does mean when you transport your patient, when you have your doctors working on your patient, you want to have a vibration, low vibration environment, a low noise environment, uh, the attitude of the helicopter must, must be smooth, must provide a smooth flight. So you want to have the comfort. Uh, and of course, you want to have a helicopter that uh, is available. So the helicopter is often alone at the hospital, so he must have high availability, reliability must be there. You don't want to break your helicopter at a highway where you block all the traffic. And so you must have a high availability of the helicopters. Now, you've got two models here. You've got a 145 and the 160. How do they complement each other? What are the differences? Yeah. Uh, so actually today, the most successful one is the 135 with more than 600 helicopters flying around the world. The second successful is the H145, more than 400. Uh, both provide the primary and the secondary mission. When I look here, be, or you see behind me the 145, it provides uh, a lot of this primary but secondary mission over a certain, let's say, medium range. Two pilots bringing the patient, two doctors over a certain distance. Uh, and we see now with the H160, that is the aircraft that is not yet in operation, but uh, soon in 2020 it will enter the service. We are targeting the market of HMS because uh, we see some differences. And the difference and the complementary issues are First, we see already from the size of the helicopter, that means for HMS uh, the cabin. The cabin space is much, much bigger. It does mean you can have um, much more people on board, much more equipment on board, you have much more payload. So you can really have a flying hospital with this helicopter, and this not over a short distance, but also over a long distance. So we can say something like three hours in a fast cruising speed is possible to fly and to transfer the patient which is not possible or limited possible then with the H145. Raul Setz from Airbus, thank you very, very much. Now, for more stories from the helicopter industry, go to wearefin.com.